Welcome back guys to another video tutorial. Uh, today we are going to show you how to rip DVDs off a disc and into a digital format that you can use to upload to your Plex server. If you are anything like me, you have a shelf full of old DVDs that you don't watch anymore um, for various reasons. In my case, it's just too much of a hassle to get them off the shelf, plug them into a DVD player. A lot of times if I want to watch these, uh, I will want to watch them mobily on a phone, um, somewhere that's not in my living room. And so by putting together a Plex server and uploading these files to that Plex server, it gives us that freedom to stream these movies that we already own and have purchased legally um, into a digital format that gives us a lot more options. It's a little bit tricky, but really if we follow these steps, it's not too tough. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that we're going to want to do is download a program called Handbrake. There is a link to get Handbrake in the description of this video. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and pass us through one of these pages. Go ahead and click skip this ad. It takes us to Handbrake. Um, we can download the newest version for Windows. We're going to go ahead and do that. Once it's downloaded, we're going to go ahead and click Yes. Minimize that for now. Go ahead and click Next. Click I Agree. And click Install. And now you can go ahead and change that if you want it in a different folder. I'm fine with it being in our program files. Go ahead and click Finish. All right. So now that we've got Handbrake installed on our computer, the first step is done. Uh, unfortunately, Handbrake alone does not allow us to rip copies of copyright protected DVDs. So anything that you may have purchased from the store, uh, right now it's not going to help us because it has that copyright protection enabled. In order to allow Handbrake to do its job, uh, we need to download another file and add it to the program files of Handbrake. So in the description of this video, um, there is a link for a file that we need to download. Um, there's a 32-bit version and a 64-bit version. Um, I'm using the 64-bit version, so we'll go ahead and follow that link. Click Deny if that pops up. Give it just a minute while it scans. Click that and then click that. Go ahead and click Keep, and once the file is downloaded, we can click Show in Folder. We're going to go ahead and copy that file, and now we need to go to where uh, we had Handbrake installed. So in our case, we'll open, go to RPC, the C drive, Program Files, Handbrake, and now there is a list of files here. We're going to go ahead and paste that file into the handbrake files. Once it's done that, we can go ahead and close the file or explorer, open handbrake. And this will be the first screen that you see <coughs> where it's asking us to select the source of the file that we want to rip. Um, I have a DVD already in the tray. If you do not, you probably won't see anything in your CD drive. So you can go ahead and click Cancel, put in the DVD, and then click Open Source. And then once you've done that, you should see uh, your DVD in the file. So we're going to go ahead and select that and give the computer a minute while it scans the DVD. Okay, and so now we can see that Handbrake has finished scanning the disk and has found all the files that are on it. Um, so the first thing that we're going to want to do is to select the title. Um, and you can see here that there are a lot of different files that were found on the disk. Typically, the longest file is the movie. And these other things that are added are bonus features, director's commentary, other things that you may not actually want to rip. So it's your best bet to select the longest title, and it's usually number one in the list, 
to make sure that you're ripping the movie and not some bonus feature. Uh, the presets I typically have left at fast 1080p. Uh, the quality doing that has been great. I haven't noticed any problems doing it that way. And it's quite a bit faster than selecting um, some of these other options, Super HQ, HQ, uh, those kind of things. I would just leave it at the fast 1080p. I would make sure also that the format is in MP4. Um, I found that that works best on the Plex server. Typically it can stream natively as an MP4 and my server doesn't have to transcode the file which can make the video more choppy, make your server have to work harder to accomplish the same thing. So I like it as an MP4 rather than an MKV or any other version of file. Everything else here I don't typically mess with. Um, and so we can go ahead and pick where we want this to save. We'll just go ahead and pick the desktop for now. And name the file elf save and once we've got that we can go ahead and click start in code now this can take just a little while uh, down here at the bottom it will give you an estimate of how long it's going to take uh, and I've also seen that it typically makes two passes of the video to encode it I don't know if, if typically the first pass is an encode and the second is a check, but it usually does everything twice. So here we've got about 25 minutes for it to rip this file. So we'll go ahead and uh, skip this part and come back when it's all done. All right, so our file has finished its conversion. Uh, you can see down here at the bottom, it shows us that it's finished. And on our desktop, we have a new MP4 file. We can go ahead and play that to make sure that we converted the right file. Everything is looking good. Looks like we have the whole movie. Um, so if we want to have this in our Plex library, what we'll do is we can cut and then we'll go into our file explorer and whatever uh, file you have stored your movies in, we can go ahead and move it there. Uh, on this particular one, we have it under media, movies, and we can paste the movie there. And when we go into Plex and refresh our movie library, we should see that movie. Uh, so there it is guys, uh, that's how we will rip uh, the DVDs that we have, move them onto our Plex server. Let me know what questions you have, um, and I'd be happy to make another video. Appreciate you guys watching, uh, have a wonderful day.